and thank you so very much for joining me tonight. I go by Luna Neat, and this is a kind of different video. However, the vibe will still be the same. <laughs> but a couple weeks, no, no, a couple weeks ago, about a week before I set off on my journey to Costa Rica, I was approached by a company called Goddess Provisions, and they wanted to send me a box. So, I'll just have a disclaimer that yes, I get lots of these offers, <laughs> like lots, and none of them really fit the channel, none of them are ones I really believe in, and while this video is not sponsored, um, I did get this for free. I have not even opened it. I literally just cut the tape here because I didn't want to be struggling with that on camera. <laughs> Um, but essentially, you know, full disclosure, I checked them out, I checked out their Instagram, they have a lovely Instagram, they are again called Goddess Provisions, and they were like, oh, you know, I said, oh my gosh, yeah, actually, I would really like to do this because I love supporting small shops, and while Goddess Provisions is obviously, you know, a shop, the things that are inside the box are typically from lesser known you know things so it's like a nice mix um but they also said that they would give me essentially like an affiliate link or that i could be an affiliate for them so full disclosure if you do end up buying a box from goddess provisions or you sign up for them i believe it's like a monthly subscription however i will do my research more effectively and write it in the description below just in case it's seasonal i do believe it's monthly though um, maybe I'll find out when I open it. <laughs> um, but I would get a little piece of that. So just to be completely transparent, because I never want you to feel like I'm, you know, using you guys. But essentially, I'm super excited about this. I've never had a opportunity to work with something that really resonated with the channel. So what I'm going to do to make this fit in so seamlessly is go through this box with you. And then create a Reiki session by proxy inspired by the theme, the tools, you know? So we're going to keep it that away. I don't want you to see my address. <laughs> so let's open it together. Cool. Okay. So this is what it looks like so far. There's a little uh, candle. There's a facial cleansing sponge. I wonder if I could use that on you. Something in here. I'll open. Lip balm. So let me take things out one by one, I guess. But here's the first impression, right? It's actually a lot more stuff than I thought. So let's start with the candle. This candle is by lilacwillow.com. It's called Forest and there's some pictures of shrooms on there. <laughs> I'll show you. This is Forest. Has a little pine cone, a little crystal, some cute little mossy guy. And it smells amazing. It smells like palm balsam or cedar balsam. Um, I like to buy candles at Trader Joe's when I can. <laughs> Um, 
and it smells kind of similar if you know that those candles to the balsam piney one I absolutely love pine personally if you don't like that smell you might not like this one but how sweet right and we'll get to use it in our session how perfect I'm gonna place this over here next we have wild facial cleansing sponge infused with pink I'm sorry French pink clay wet sponge with warm water one soft massage on the skin in circular motions take care on problem areas such as flaky skin going around the t-zone rinse thoroughly press out water and hang in a well ventilated area replace every four to six weeks You know, when you try to do something delicately and it just kind of makes it worse. Oh, cool. Cool. So it's this cute little thing you can hang in your bathroom. And like, we can use this. We can totally use this. Okay. I feel like I sound like a phony right now. But. I really wanted this. I said it like three times on my trip because you can drink coconut water right out of the friggin' coconut. Like, there's coconut trees everywhere. And I was like, I want to get a reusable straw. <laughs> so that's what this is. Yes. How cool. <laughs> it's a woman owned, 1% for the planet, mother daughter duo with passion to protect. The nature we love and make a positive change in the world. I'm so about this. I never use straws. I almost get offended. I know it's like, but I almost get offended when someone puts a straw in my drink. Because I'm like, it's like I bring a reusable bag. I used cloth diapers. I use, you know, for feminine care, I use uh, non-disposable kind of stuff. So when I get straws, it's like, oh. Comes with a little cleaner. I don't know how I can use this in a video with you, but how cute! Freaking awesome. You like clean it. I'm very surprised. I wasn't expecting this, and I love that. Cool. Okay. We're going to try to incorporate as much as we can into our session, even if it's a little silly, guys, so. I thought it was going to be like tea and a candle, so I'm, I like this. <laughs> All right. Have a lip balm. Wild Canyon compostable lip balm made from wildflower oils. I love, I'm really digging this whole earth appreciation one. I don't know if every box is like this. I'm sure I'll see the card underneath. Give it a shot. Twist to open. Oh boy. Oh, neat. Oh, it's fat and cute. Okay. It's pretty plain. But what do you need from lip balm? One of the things I love so much about my trip was really connecting with nature and that appreciation. 
which you want to, you know, like when you go to the beach, pick up some garbage, even if it's not yours. This feels like a crystal. <laughs> mm. This is Soul and Celine. Oh, how perfect. I don't know, I have to show you this. So, Soul and the Sun, Celine and the Moon. I love that. And, oh, it's like a, um, it's a resin cast, um, point with a little flower of some kind. I don't know what kind of flower this is off the top of my head, but it might tell me in the box. These are cool, these little resin crystal things. Nice aesthetic. Let's see if it stands up. Oh, cool. Alright, I like that, I like that. Oh, there's another. It's serpentine, but we'll find out. Bring you back. I'll go back and forth a little. It's such a perfect time for me to make this video because I'm trying to like warm up and get back in the flow. for shipping. Probably don't want broken glasses winding up with people. Very light smell. I don't smell hardly anything, especially compared to the candle. connect. Essences of juniper, cedar, cypress, spearmint, cinnamon bark, myrrh, and vetiver. Vetiver. I hope I say that right. Intention. Connect with the abundance of Mother Earth. Invigorate your senses and smell the forest air. Even while in the city. Spray onto feet and legs for ultimate grounding effect. Awesome. I want to open it and smell it because I actually just recorded a session for a client. And I used a ton of essential oils so my hands smell. Mm, okay. 
I need to like not put my hands by it. <laughs> not a super strong smell, but I use a lot of sprays that are not super strong smell for my practice because I'm more interested in the intention and what they're doing. So this will work very nicely in a session for us. We can use it on the hips and legs and feet to ground us. I love that it's talking about abundance. Gifts are coming to mind. So maybe our session will be the theme of receiving the gifts from the earth and contributing our gifts to the earth. Something else. uses scarves in her healing. She like wraps it around you sometimes. So maybe this will be my healing scarf. I'm getting some ideas. Okay, I'll save it for the session part. Very cool. Very light. It's not heavy. shamanic but yes earth alchemy there's a crystal point resin I'm sorry resin crystal point there was the simply straws reusable glass straw wild French pink clay sponge the scarf fair trade scarf lilac and willow forest candle the Wild Canyon Flower Balm Serpentine, bitch! Ooh, yeah! <laughs> Can you see? Can you see that it says Serpentine? Serpentine. I don't own a lot of Serpentine, so... Oh. oh, am I missing something? Oh, digital. So on digitally... I can download Herbal Academy's Nine Familiar Herbs for Beginners. Very cool. I tune into the frequency of Mama Gaia and accept the call to do more to show my love and respect for this beautiful and abundant planet. Very cool. All right. So we're going to create a session based off these inspiration, Earth Alchemy. And for me, alchemy is very give and take. Um, when I use the word alchemy, it's about transformation, transmutation, uh, turning lead into gold, taking the best of every situation. Um, some people um, thinking use the word alchemy like um, Blanca who I share the office with for only a few more months. Oh, um, Blanca uses the word alchemy and she means money or like the exchange, but that's, that doesn't really resonate with me. 
I think it's just about the art of alchemy. Spiritual alchemy is certainly the one I work with the most personally. And the earth alchemy being us transforming here, being transformed by the space, and also transforming it by our presence. So, I'm going to use that as our theme for this session, inspired by these products. Um, it's going to be a little different because some of them I'm going to have to be kind of creative with, but that's the fun part, right? That's the challenge. So I hope you find this a bit, um, uh, I don't want to say silly, that's not what I mean, but I hope that you enjoy this and can kind of take from the novelty of having some new tools to play with and, you know, get a little creative with, I guess is what I'm trying to share. All right, so I took a little break had a little chance to focus and connect with the intention that we're going to be setting for this session. So let me grab my candle. Light this for us. Alright. So... On behalf of your and my and everyone else's highest and greatest good and perfect comfort and alignment, we wish to conduct this energy work session by proxy with the focus or intention to bring awareness to how we are treating this earth realm and what we are more importantly contributing on a material or real level, if I can say it that way. I don't mean to discredit the spiritual component, of course, but picking up your trash and some extra trash, you know? Um, buying things with care and sustainability, not buying all the trends of Palo Santo and Sage, but more so getting those things from a ethical source that you can a credit or rather um, that has a, a history of treating things with care and respect and not uh, deforestation or anything, you know, what I'm trying to get at there. And not only that, of course, the mark we leave, the way we connect, or the energy we bring, the encouragement we bring to this realm, but I'd love to stay focused not on specifically our brothers and sisters here, though of course they are invited and included as always, but more so the Earth Mother herself, this material, supportive, energetic, you know, when I think of the Earth, it's not just the Earth as this, you know, massive structure, but the soul of the Earth the prana of the earth, which is held and contained and utilized and waste according to Mother Earth's will, we could say. And Mother Earth, or Gaia, Mother Matter, is not necessarily choosing good over bad or bad over good, but more so allows her children to live their lives without her dictation, her direction, though of course what mother would not want her children to take care of her and honor and love and all of these amazing things. On top of that though, and what we're contributing, what we're bringing, what we're adding to the field of good here, what are we taking in a healthy and balanced way, I mean, what are we looking to tap into and what are we grateful for more more precisely what are we grateful for with all the gifts if you'd like to set your own intention you can use this time to do so but i ask us to focus on the gifts we've experienced of the day the water the air the wind the rain the sun sleep, the rest, the fruits, or salts, what supports us, the connections here, the inspiration, and recognize all these gifts and treasure them in that way with gratitude 
and love. How funny, right? Of course, I'm sure this goddess provisions had much more thought than I. But Earth Day is coming. What can we do to lessen our impact? Do we need new canvas shopping bags? You know, do we remember them? Can we leave them by the door so we're remembering them and saying no thank you when we run into a place and they try to give us a plastic bag or a plastic straw? All those things. I'm sorry I'm not coming up with a lot of options right now, but I would be so grateful for you to leave in the comments some ideas on how we can make an impact for sake of the planet, for our children. Isn't this so cute? I like the challenge. I'm going to be using this little sponge. To begin cleansing our energy. And how this works from my perspective is I'm channeling through my hand to your self here in front of me by proxy and this might be a bit of a prop but that's okay if i wanted to i could just visualize a sponge and cleansing with the or using with the intention to cleanse around you energy work is so cool <laughs> connect with you through time and space in perfect love and comfort to begin to release any discomfort we may have with making changes you know i mentioned that i use like mommy cloths or whatever and things like that i used cloth diapers all of that stuff so it wasn't easy right it wasn't easy at first to go from one way to another so i'm gonna focus on helping to exfoliate any discomfort or part of our brain that says oh yeah well, how am i gonna do that you know care for and be cared by <laughs> Mother Matter. Just gonna go down the body. Yeah, 
shoulders. If we are always take, 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 there's an energy imbalance within us and around us and it will not be sustained and we will have to give. It's worth it to constantly be open to the ebb and flow, the give and take, the appreciation of the delicious coconut water I was able to drink and the giving of picking up some trash on the beach when I went there. This isn't force, this isn't judgment, this isn't anything like that. It's empowering to know there are many ways to use a straw. <laughs> there are many ways to go about life that leave less of a footprint. Might be carpooling, public transportation. Maybe teaching our children as well as our parents how they can do a little better for the planet. This is just an idea because it's kind of tricky for me to use this in the video, but I figured out a way to. Essentially, there's an art. Uh, a healing modality, an intentional way of working with earthy energy where you focus on your body as the earth. Like I, Jillian, right now am a representative through correspondence of the earth in her entirety. And as I wash my face, and as I get enough rest, and as I drink water, or do anything kind for myself, if I use the intention of also caring for the earth, or as by proxy myself, us to the earth, then methods of self-care can come in and be a bit of an energy play into that field. And whether you believe in that or not, it's also a great way for us to access our subconscious minds so that we're aware of not only how we treat ourselves and what that does for the planet, but also the caring for the earth, the caring and connection and bringing it in in a more um, more expansive way, I'm not, I'm not using the best word here, but in a way that is in our life, in our mind, in our intention more frequently. 
So, even something like lip balm or moisturizing our skin. You know, sometimes when I put my moisturizer on, I focus on sending that energy or a by proxy connection to the earth and it's maybe beautifying, it's maybe healing, it's maybe relieving tension, maybe it's just the honor of doing such. But we're gonna just put some lip balm on you. And as I care for you right now, you can focus on yourself as the earth by the proxy of the earth, a proxy of the earth. And allow this care to be channeled and received not only by you, but also the earth realm. And again, it's a great way to work with the subconscious. Now that you have a ton of lip balm on. <laughs> and I'll share. Another tricky tool for our session is the school class straw. <laughs> I'm going to use this more of like a wand channel through as if it's energy is coming out in this little tubular shape and just connect and center myself and share this energy all around you I know it's a little silly but glass is quartz and sand and um, sometimes fluoride sometimes dolomite it is alchemical it is a process but let's see what we can do here Connect to the heart, connect to this infinite channel. It's funny when I do attunements, kind of see it like this, you know, it's like I can look in and see the top of someone's head going down through this column, this vessel to the bottom of their torso. And I send in different things to activate and enhance their ability to channel. So that inspiration kind of comes from there. So I'm going to go over your head, clear this channel within you, down your body, the center of your body, all the way down, 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 all the way to the base of your torso. Prepare the space for an attunement, you know, not necessarily a Reiki attunement, but an attunement to the earth plane. And I think that some of you, especially those who have much more cosmic energy in general, will find this to be quite grounding, quite helpful in manifesting on the earth plane. Just preparing. Almost thought I wasn't recording there. <laughs> okay. I literally just said this the other day. Alright, I'm gonna focus on 
my feet, my connection to the earth, my representation of the earth. And where a cosmic attunement might fall through, we're going to focus on pulling this up through the roots, through the body, up to you, and to kind of disperse, share. Alright, so as I'm focusing on the root, I'm picturing the images of leaves, of vines, of ribbons, of seeds, of plants, of animals, of instinct, of crystals and earth and dirt and soil and moss. Maybe you can imagine the smell of this fertile soil, kind of aroma, trees, bees, honey, amber, and we're going to focus our intention to call this up, to attune us to the energy of the earth, to keep her in our hearts more consciously, to think more selflessly on behalf of the earth realm, as a planet, as a field, as a mother, and call it up, guiding it, seeing jaguars, bobcats, <laughs> it's very feline right now for me. our ancestors before and their connection to this plane, this realm when we lived closer to harmony with the space <sighs> calling it up through the roots into the lower abdomen traveling up upper abdomen chest throat, into your head, your jaw, your middle of your head, and around you, encompassing you. We're going to focus on gratitude for all the gifts the earth realm provides for us, and commit, if you're open to, Commit to taking care, more care, in how we live our lives. Just because something is, has been done a certain way doesn't make it right, does it? We can say that about all kinds of things. I'm just going to place my hand on your third eye. Right? In your heart, I give you a chance to connect these points to see if any mental images come up and where we might be able to make adjustments or perhaps inspiration. Areas we might want to bring a garbage bag to and go collect some trash in maybe some local businesses we'd like to approach with the concept of um, or the practice rather of composting how can we clean our oceans how can we do right just give this opportunity for this ideas and creative thinking creative flashes of inspiration to come and if it doesn't come right now that's okay let's be open for it to present to us at some point over the course of this month or the next few weeks okay this cute 
little resin. I wish I knew what this was, but it doesn't really matter. I guess, you know, technically. I feel like it's just a reminder right now that there is an urgency, if I may be so bold, to preserve and correct, make adjustments to the way we live our lives. And this isn't, again, judgment, but it's a, a need for change, for awareness, to play our part. Actually love to use this gorgeous yellowy one on your third eye but first I'm gonna focus on kind of still calling up that energy of the attunement like a serpent motion through to rest on your third eye to call your energy here with a journey through all the other places, all the other portals, energy centers, to the third eye area. For your empowerment, for your inner alchemy. For your balancing of cosmic and material. For the reminder that you are the child of these two divine forces. And we don't play favorites, do we? We honor both, as we are children of both. If you've never worked with serpentine, I would definitely suggest it. I especially love these yellowy pieces. It's such an interesting texture, this one. I love to work with this one in my sessions or with clients or for myself. Whenever my crown is hyper energized, I think it's absolutely perfect for balancing that energy and bringing it down a little so it's more comfortable for everyone. like more information on um, the rising of serpent energy one of my favorite books is the Mary Magdalene manuscript you might enjoy it right. so for grounding we're gonna use this gorgeous spray on your hips down your legs and on your feet to help us really plant and connect and take ownership where we spend our money, what companies do we support, you know? I 
right? So hips, down the legs, the feet, and under the feet. And I'm just going to spray a little on my hands. Stroke down the legs to the ground. Sorry that this looks weird. Us. Maybe you see magenta like this pretty scarf. Maybe it's green or brown or amber. It doesn't matter. But the earth provides such everything, right? That's why we're here. <laughs> Why we're here. <coughs> Excuse me. And it's a confusing place for sure at times. But if we we wouldn't incarnate, we wouldn't be here if there wasn't a reason for it. bit of a test or I don't know if that's the right word but an opportunity to follow our soul's compass right so I'm gonna wrap you in this wrap you in this earthy love I hope you sleep very well tonight, wrapped up in this gorgeous loving energy, the support. I hope you come up with some ideas on how you can make the earth a better place, you know, to treat this field with honor and reverence for the animals, for the children, for the people. For yourself, for your own, I don't want to say karma, that's not what I mean, but for your own inner balance. Right? Just cozy, cozy. I want to especially thank Goddess Provisions for sending me this fun box. I love everything. I don't feel like it's even fair. <laughs> for me to review it because it's clearly stuff that I would love anyway <laughs> but it's definitely something I would order as like little treats for myself inspiration and what are we working with I'll put some information below the box itself. It's very nice. I'm just gonna wrap this around you. Oh, yeah. How sweet. All tucked in. <laughs> Cover your eyes. A little. <laughs> I said,
send you so much love and appreciation. Patrons, your videos are coming quite soon. I'm working on them tomorrow. I just wanted to warm up. But I thank you. <laughs> From the bottom of my heart, as always, namaste.